Okay, we're living out here in the country, and so for our country folk, we won't say hey youns or hey y'all, <laughs> and for the more formal city-fied folk, we want to say good morning and welcome to Waking Up to Grace Devotions. We have uh, Mr. David Outlaw, who has returned to uh, read another devotion for us today, and we want to say thank you for, for him coming and doing this. And so we're going to turn it over to David and let him go ahead and do his devotion. Hello again. Good morning. The title of today's devotion is Always Home. It's based on 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? Home. It's the one comfortable place in the whole wide world where you can be the real you. Kick off your shoes and snuggle on the sofa, sofa with a really good book. Or rummage through the fridge or pantry to find the food that pleases you most. And while chores might not be the most relaxing or appealing part of home ownership, you don't mind so much because you reap the reward of a well-kept home. You decorate it, maintain it, and appreciate it because not... It not only tells your story in a unique way, but it's also a place to welcome those you love. Homes must be special to God, too, because he left heaven to look for one. In the Old Testament, we see that God first walked alongside his people in a beautiful garden. Longing to be even closer, he instructed his people to build a beautiful tent so he could live right in the middle of them. Wherever they traveled, they took the tent and God's presence with them. Later, David and his son Solomon built a glorious temple, but it too wasn't quite home enough for God. When Jesus paid for our sins on the cross, the veil of separation between us and God was torn, and for all who invite him in, God has come to make his holy home inside our hearts. Whether we're awake or asleep, rejoicing or weeping, questioning or believing, God is at work inside our lives, making himself a home that reflects his presence. This morning, thank God that you are a walking, talking miracle of grace as God's presence goes with you in all that you do, before you, behind you, beside you, and now in you. God has you completely covered by his love. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the land. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 21. Thank you. Thank you, David. Home is such a wonderful place to feel secure and love. And if you invite God into your home, um, you will always feel secure and know you're loved. We may mess up. Lord knows I have. But at least we can be ourselves in front of God. Remember, you are God's child and you are loved. Go in peace. Until next time.